uh, when he was sentenced to that 81 month sentence, it was widely published that he would serve about half of that. So his release now is in line with what was expected when he was sentenced. Developing tonight, we have learned former Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke will be released from prison in just a matter of weeks. Van Dyke has served just over three years for shooting and killing 17 year old Laquan McDonald. Nate Rogers is live with reaction tonight. Nate. Yeah, Anthony and Natalie, Laquan McDonald's great uncle, told me the family received an email earlier today that the officer, Jason Van Dyke, would be released from prison on February 3rd. They received that email from the state attorney's office. Legal analysts telling us they're not surprised by this move. The family saying it does not seem to be fair. Laquan McDonald supporters have long called it a slap on the wrist. 81 months after convicted of murder, news of an early release opening wounds for McDonald's family. It is an equivalent of a lynching because I think it was meant to not only uh, uh, execute him, but to instill fear. It was dash cam video that gripped the nation, released 13 months after the incident, only because of a court order. October 2014, a black teenager shot 16 times after a confrontation with police, even more bullets as he was already grounded. Fox 32 legal analyst Larry Yellen covered the case and spoke with me about the controversial sentencing. So he did not sentence him for the 16 different aggravated battery charges, which at a minimum of six years each would have led to 96 years. Instead, he got a sentence. The range was four to 20. He got seven. And then under good time laws in Illinois, he only has to serve about half of that. I, I never would have done this if I didn't think my life or somebody else's life was in danger. Van Dyke, who's now in his 40s, served about three years and four months. His appeals attorney says for his own protection, he's been mostly in solitary confinement. She's now worried about his safety and physical health. Uh, physical problems, mental problems, tons of problems come from solitary confinement. Now, Laquan McDonald's family received a $5 million settlement from the city following this incident. Um, the officer's attorney says he simply wants to live a normal life and is very remorseful about this situation. Reporting live downtown, Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago.